Hey, what's up guys? We're back here with the latest episode of this Raiding FC RTG career mode. And as you can see coming up in this episode, we have got Plymouth Argyle in the first round of the EFL Cup. So that'll be coming up soon, as well as a league match against Wolverhampton Wanderers away from home. So as you can see, we're just setting up our training at the moment. And the likes of Bree have gone up a stat point. Resource has nearly gone up one. And we got a inquiry back from Alex Gorgon of £775,000. And we had an injury... In the last game, Liam Kelly was out for four weeks. So this Alex Gordon guy, we are looking quite interested in him. He's 17 years old from Paris Saint-Germain. We put an offer in for him. And as you can see here, we just sold Gunter for 2.2 million and have been given 1.5 million of that money to use for transfers. And we're going to get set up ready for our next game in the Cup. So we're going to play a lot of our reserve players, the likes of Mendes and McCleary that looks like we're starting. And we're just putting a few other players on the bench, all with good stamina so they can last through the game. Badeau, the 55 year old new signing playing alongside grabbing back at the back with Watson at the right back and Blackett at left back. So here we are about to get kicked off into this game now guys. Here we are this evening at the Medeski Stadium at home against Plymouth Argyle in the EFL Cup round number one where we're looking to get a win and start progressing through this round and start winning some, comp uh, start winning some rounds, start winning this competition and try and get a decent run of results going. Play a debut for Andre Green in this episode as long as well as um, Badur at centre back. So as you can see there we've got Green coming out, Popper, Barrett, Vandenberg, Weezer, Watson, Badur, grabbing back Blackett and Yakala in goal. So it's going to be an interesting uh, game. We've got quite a reserve squad out but we are playing against Plymouth who are quite low down in the leagues. And as you can see here they've got their usual lineup. Quite, quite a strong squad if you know the Plymouth squad that well. And they're going to be looking to get a win here today. So we can't hold anything back. We have to push on and try and get a win just as much there as they're going to try and get one too. And here we are with the kickoff now. Reading on the ball. Just playing around up to Popper, who's going to hold it up and make his way forward. Here we come now. Kevin Grant on the ball. Can he work it into the box here? Laying it off to Weezer. Weezer laying it up to Green. Green turning on the ball. Great turn from Green. Can he get a shot away here? Crossing it into the box there to Kevin Grant, who just headed it down into the floor. And it didn't quite come to anything after that header. Here we come. Kevin Grant on the turn. Great turn around. Kevin Grant having a left footed shot here. Hitting the crossbar from that shot. Comes back out and gets taken away though. Here they come now. Plymouth on the attack. Their first real attack of the game. 24 minutes. Having a shot there. Way over the bar. And Nothing quite comes of it. Headed down there from the Reading players to Watson. Watson laying it to Barrett. Barrett laying it into Blackett. Blackett on the turn. Blackett having a shot on his left foot. He's gone and made it 1-0 here. Tyler Blackett for Reading from left back position at the Medeski Stadium in this EFL Cup round number 1. 1-0 up here against Plymouth. The left back scores in the 39th minute. Great bit of play there from Watson. Laying it to Barrett who just lays it into Blackett who goes a great turn, a couple of touches, left footed shot, places it in the corner of the net and he's gone and got his first goal of the season, his first goal of the cup and Reading's first goal of the entire season as well. Tyler Blackett from left back of all people which is really cool to see him making his way forward and scoring a goal. Let's hope we can continue this run of form. Kermagat making his way to Green here, Green touching it around the defender, getting a shot away here, can he cross it into the box? He's crossing it to the back post, Popper puts it back in, doesn't quite manage to bounce down to anyone and there goes the half time whistle here, 1-0 up against Plymouth at the halftime stage. We're doing pretty well so far. We've had a number of chances. They've only had one real chance. As you can see, one chance off target. They've had 40% possession. We've had 60%. Five shots, two on target. So we're doing really well this game and we're looking to continue that form and get another goal here in this game and try and seal this EFL Cup round one victory today. Here come Plymouth now, just playing around nicely. And Reading win it back here. Andre Green on the wing, using his pace and his stamina to make his way forward into the open space here. Look at this space opening up. Andre Green touches inside, laying it off to Weezer. Weezer just shoots out why unlucky for him wasn't quite the chance we wanted and here come Plymouth on the attack now getting forward putting it up the wing crossing into the box now it jumps down just to Gakala's hand who manages to get it and here we come now with substitutes Williams, Lewis Graben and uh, Harriet all coming on there and we're going to make our way forward with Graben here making his way in the box crossing into the back post to Vandenberg who has a try and headed it tries his hardest to head it down to Williams who manages to just put it wide unlucky for him Williams laying it there to Graben Graben turning on the ball great turn from Graben can he get a shot away here yes he can here's Harriet with the rebound he just takes one touch too many as the ball bounced awkwardly at his feet and he couldn't quite get it in here we come now with a corner kick from that chance Popper laying it into the middle here can he get this into the box now laying it off to Harriet Harriet with the shot blocked here comes Blackett once again Blackett's gone and scored he's made it 2-0 here that's his second goal of the game his second goal of the season Reading's second goal overall he scored all the goals for Reading this season 2-0 up in the 83rd minute of this EFL Cup round one and we are advancing to round two now because of that block there from Harriet's shot 
and Blackett is there to sweep up the rebound. What a goal from him. He scored twice in this game. He's playing so well. Man of the match performance from him by the looks of it. Not conceding and scoring two goals. He's on his hat trick, but I don't think there's enough time to grab that. But we'll have to wait and see. Here we come now on the attackers. Plymouth making their way forward. Taylor on the ball now. And this is some space here. First real chance for them. Good shot. Good save from Jackala to keep them out. Keep this clean sheet. Can we hold on for the last three minutes to make sure we get a clean sheet here today? Crossing the box here from the corner. Headed it to the back post. What a good goal that was from Plymouth. Corner into the near post, flicked onto the back post and volleyed in at the back post. No one on the Reading, uh, no one on the Reading team saw that one coming. And that was a really nicely well-worked goal. Look at that. Just laid it off to the back post. And the runner manages to go and get that in. Segovic. And it's one goal to him. That's one goal back for them in the 89th minute. They've got like one minute left to try and win this game back. We're 2-1 up. We're just going to hold the ball and work it around until this final whistle goes. We're not going to give anything away and just hope for the best. But they have won it back here. They come on an attack. Segovic. And there goes the full-time whistle, guys. We managed to get a 2-1 victory here. Tyler Blackett scoring both for Reading. And we've gone and advanced into the second round of the EFL Cup, which we're going to be playing in a couple of episodes time. What a game that was. And after that now, we're going to head back into the menus and we're going to do some more transfers, some more signings. And then we're going to be heading into the second game of the championship season. Look at that. Two shots, two goals there for Blackett. And that is that game over with, guys. What a win that was for us. We got a transfer offer accepted here for Grigovic and um, our loan to buy offer got rejected by Real Madrid for 5 million so we're actually thinking more of putting in maybe an offer that's going to be just a loan offer instead of a loan to buy because otherwise we don't think we're going to get him as you can see here we're going to put him for a two we're going to put an offer in for a two year loan because this guy is really good and hopefully we can buy him after that two years maybe if his contract runs out that is the plan with him if we can if he wants to join us that is as you can see coming up we've got wolves in this episode then in the next episode we've got newcastle then brighton and then after that we have got harder so we have to see how these games go taking liam kelly off here after he got injured he's out for a month at the moment and if you remember at the start of the first episode or two evans got injured as well so he's out for seven months so he won't be playing for a while we're just getting our squad set up and ready to be playing against wolves in these in this cup game uh, in this uh, championship game coming up so we're getting more of our first team squad the likes of rashford back in and jordan much and a few other good players at center back like a lorry and the like so here we are final report on him we can actually see how good he really is look at that 70 overall for a 17 uh, age 17 player he's actually really really good worth 1.9 million he still needs to be scouted gorgon but look at this look at those stats sprint speed stamina he's got some really good pace he's worth quite a bit of money which is going to be hard to buy or use him i'm still thinking about getting that sergio diaz but we'll have a look at some other players i have a comment as well so we're going to be looking at some of those players as you can see here we've got our first scout report back and we've got some really good potential players our scout is judgment and potential is five star so i trust him and we're going to sign up that player lance thomas there and we're going to sign some really good players here we'll go have a look at them again in a minute just to check their actual overalls because its potential is pretty high so we're going to get him as well and leave those two there as you can see here, we're looking at Alex Gorgon again. He's only 63 rated. He wasn't as good as we thought he was, but he's still pretty good for a 17-year-old. So we're still thinking about him. Maybe, maybe not. But if we can get this other guy in on loan, we might just keep him and have Bree and him to start the line. And you can see here, our youth academy now. We've got Lance Thomas, Mark Davis, and Callum Hall, all from England. All 47 rated here is Mark Davis. As you can see on the table, we're 23rd. We're playing really badly at the moment, but we got plenty of games to prove that wrong. There's 47 there, 45 for Callum Hall. He's already 17 though, which is interesting. And this guy, he looks like the best one. Lance Thomas, centre mid, 49 overall. I'm going to really work him to try and get him up. 71 to 94 for Lance Thomas in potential as well. So we're going to try our hardest to get those players pushed up. We need to use that for our youth objectives. But for now, we're going to focus on this upcoming game against Wolves away from home in the EFL Championship, Reading vs Wolves. We haven't got a win yet this season. We lost the first game of the season, 1-0 to the first game. We played, I can't remember who that was already. <laughs> but we lost that 1-0 and we didn't score a goal. We scored our first two goals in the Championship in the last game. As you can see here, Rashford, McCleary, Behrens up top and Raquel's match and a few other good players in the lineup here today. So we've got our first team squad out. are looking for a strong game, a strong victory and a strong performance from Reading to try and insert our early dominance on this championship season because we are looking to finish top of the table. We're looking to win and we're looking to get further up 
So hopefully we're going to do that today. Here we are, just walls playing it around nicely at the start of this game. Nice and easy working around here. They come forward on the attack now. We've just got a tackle in there, but the ball's been given straight back to Wolves. They're making their way forward now. Can they work this ball into the box here? Just getting past all our defenders, twisting, turning. Can they get a shot away here? Yes, they can, but it's a great save there from Al Habzi to keep him out. And they're back on the ball. Ben Marshall, can he get the ball in the box now? He's been tackled there by the running player, and it goes out. Here we come now. Raquel's making a great tackle on one of the last defenders. We've got Rashford making his way forward on the top here. Here's Rashford with a shot, and Rashford's just been blocked here. Barron's on the follow-up. Behrens goes and completely skims that ball off and it goes out of play for a goal kick. Here they come now. Wolves on the attack. 42 minutes played, almost half time in this game. Not much is happening so far. Al Habzi gathers that one to hand and here they come on another attack. Ben Marshall once again up this right wing, crossing into the box here to no one's head or feet and Jordan Obedez manages to get this one clear and there goes the half time whistle. Quite a dull half really, just one or two chances at the beginning. Nothing really happening in this game up until this half time stage. We're going to hope for a more positive second half and push on and get the result that we are looking for to make this the win that we want. But here we are about to head into the second half. Now, Reading on the ball, just playing it around nicely is John Swift there to McCleary. And here we come on the ball, Elori, the centre-back, laying it off to John Swift. John Swift laying it to Obito. Obito overlapping, trying to come into the box here. Being taken out there on the edge of the area, about 30 yards out. And he's gone and been injured. That's so annoying. We have This is our third injury this season. It looks like quite a bad one. He was immediately ruled out. We're going to have to bring on Oxford at left back instead of him and hope well, we can do something special from this free kick now. So here we are about to step up with a free kick. Jordan Murch about to take it. We're going to use John Swift here with a layoff. Can we get this into the back of the net here? Jordan Murch about to take the shot here. 27 yards out and it's gone right in the bottom corner. What a start to this half. Jordan Murch with that free kick into the bottom left hand corner of the goal. 27 yards out. He's going to score the first championship goal of the season for Reading. And what a fantastic goal it was. Look at that for a free kick guys. Right foot, bottom left hand corner, perfect accuracy, perfect placement. And he's gone and made it 1-0 here. What a goal with the sacrifice of Jordan Obita who has been taken off injured. We've gone and scored to make up for it. Jordan Much with the goal there and we're going to head into the rest of the second half now. 1-0 up from the captain Jordan Much, his first goal in the championship. Reading's first goal in the league and what a goal it was to kick this league off. Hopefully we can hold on to this and add to it later on in this game. Not many chances though coming from this game. Here come Wolves on the attack now. Can they make their way forward? Just passing it around as much as they can to hold this ball up. And they're going to keep on holding it. Here they come forward now. Ben Marshall on the ball. Can he work this into the box here? He's still going with the ball. Making his way forward here. Running into space. Laying it off there. Can the striker get a shot away? He can. But Al Habzi just manages to put him off and put it wide. Good play from Reading. Very unlucky for Wolves. Then here come Reading on the attack. Now McCleary holding onto the ball nicely. Bit of skill there. Trying to work his way in the box. Crossing to the back post. Punches out there. And it doesn't come to anything. Raquel's is coming off now for Mete. Mete is coming on to try and make a bit of a difference. Just coming up to the 60th minute with about half an hour to go. Here we come now with Wolves on the attack. Now not many chances for Reading in this game. Just that one goal at the moment and a couple of odd chances. But here comes Wolves again. Another chance. Another miss for them. They are just shooting wide at the moment and trying their hardest from distance to get it in. Here they come on another attack. No. Wolves making their way forward now. Wolves having a shot there. Good save from Al Habzi just to hold on to it. And here we come. McCleary on the ball now. Can they get it? To Rashford, who's in the middle, laying off to Rashford, gets it back to feet. Tries to get it back to Rashford again, though, but can't quite get it past the defender there. And the defender's going to hold on to it very nicely there. Just about to get it clear. And here they come on the attack now. Is in the 90th minute, last minute of the game, is Wolves on the attack on the left wing. Is Doherty. Can he get the ball in the box and score a late, late goal here for Wolves? He crosses it into the back post here. Header down. Can we get it headed away here? No, he can't. And it's been pushed into the goal in the 90th minute in stoppage time. What was the defender doing there? I think that was a lorry. He just didn't get up for it. He didn't jump. And the Wolf player just jumped on top of him and got it in. Look at that. Just jumped in front of him. That's such silly defending there. Danny Bath going and scoring in the 90th minute to make it 1-1. And we've potentially most likely lost all points today. We've gone and dropped three points down to one. That's so unlucky for us. Mete on the ball now making his way forward. Can we get this in here to make this 1-2-1 one, one. in the last minute of the game Mete with the shot here and it's just on the goal I look he even pushes it in there we've gone and ended up getting a draw the last minute of this game guys and we've gone and got a draw that's so disappointing so we're currently sitting on one point on this table and that's yet it for this episode guys so I'll see you in the next one we're going to be doing a lot more league games and I hope you guys enjoy this so please like share and subscribe for more because there's plenty on their way I'll see you all in the next episode bye